Hey there, it's David here with another Chinelli Chat. It's funny, I've had conversations with sellers and saying, oh my, I wish my property was ready back at the height of the market. I could have sold for, you know, five, six, seven hundred thousand dollars more than we're getting in this current market. I said, hold on a second. And you're like, yes, you might have sold the property on paper for that amount, that extra amount of money more, but you might not necessarily get that money in hand. And they're like, looking at me funny, what are you talking about? Like a firm offer is a firm offer. It's a firm offer, great, but it only matters when it closes if you get that money in hand. What we're seeing lately, because the market has dropped um, significantly in some parts of the GTA, the property which it sold for is not appraising, which means the bank is sending somebody out there to evaluate your property or your lender. The banks usually don't do this, the second appraisal, they usually do the appraisal pretty quickly. But if the, the lending institution waited you know, two months, three months, and the property values have dropped, they're only gonna give you support your mortgage for the value they feel the property is worth today. So if you bought, for example, in February for say like $2 million, and the market in your area where markets, the market's dropped about $500,000, and they say, hold on a second, yeah, even though you bought the property in February for $2 million, well, in today's market, your property's only worth 1.5. So even though we said you're okay, yeah, we're not gonna give you two million, we're only gonna give you up to 1.5. In order to close this property, you need to come up with that extra $500,000. And believe it or not, this is happening left and right. Some schedule, most Schedule A's won't, uh, banks won't do this. They'll say, once they give you the approval, you're good to go. But that's why you gotta to talk to your mortgage broker as well, just see what type of lender they are. And when you have a property in a high, a high market like that, you want that appraisal to happen within days, not within months, because this could happen if the market drops. You might be on the hook. So there's been a number of properties we're hearing about that A, have to go back on the market because the buyer couldn't close because of that situation. So what happens in that situation is that, well, that buyer who couldn't close will get sued. And if it goes, the house goes back on the market and they sell, for example, that 1.5 instead of the $2 million, well, that buyer that couldn't close for $2 million will get sued for that $500,000 plus more expenses. So just be careful when this kind of happens. And this is happening left and right. So yeah, so when you hear somebody say, yeah, I could have sold my property back in February for much more money. Now you can say something and say, hold on now, as long as that property actually closed. So there's a little bit of tidbit for you. Don't think that the grass is always greener on the other side. Sometimes it's better to be in a balanced market to know that your property's gonna close and the money that you've both agreed on will get paid on time. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now.